Hello and welcome to the first Cigar Box Guitar Lesson of 2024. A bit late to the party, apologies, but we are here with an absolute banger. Uh, All-time classic, 70s classic rock, obviously ACDC Highway to Hell. And it's also uh, definitely manageable for most players, even if you've not had that much experience. So I'd definitely class this as like a beginner level version. And quite easy to play, sounds great, winning combination. Uh, we're also continuing with uh, the series of lessons that we started last year where we were looking at using one set of strings and uh, trying to get four different tunings from them. So uh, you can check the full playlist, but basically the previous um, tuning was using strings 654. That's obviously from a, a set six pack for a regular guitar. So 654 in DAD, uh, then swapped over just before Christmas. And this is now using strings 543. And this is in what we'd class as our standard GDG for three string guitar. And it's beginner level, like I said, uh, works pretty well, and I reckon let's just get straight on with having a go at the tune. Okay, so here's our standard GDG tuning, so low G. Middle D. High G. Now, the original song's actually in the key of A, so it's not far away from here. What we're going to do is we're going to learn it just in our standard open G tuning. So we're going to learn it in the key of G, but then I'll show you how we can actually capo up on fret two and we can play along with the original song if you're interested. But getting straight on with this version, it is a flat picking song. So if you want to check out any uh, basic sort of flat picking technique and also uh, in depth looking at how to bar sort of clamp across all the strings because it's useful for some of the chords here, you can check out Sunshine of Your Love. It's a one from a couple of years ago, uh, beginner level. So I'll, I'll put a link for that. But the chords in the verse, so the intro and the verse are the same chord sequence. We can just go for open G to start with. So just the open strings, that's a G power chord. And then what we're doing is we're going for a type of C chord. So that in probably involves pinky finger at fret five and second finger at fret two. And we can, we can let this low G drone through. Sounds okay, works pretty well. So that is a type of C chord, but with that low G ringing out. And then what we're going to do is keep this exactly where it is and step up. So finger one moves up to fret three on that middle string. So middle string fret two, fret three middle string. And that, just those two chords there, that's, that's an F chord, that's an F power chord. But again, we're just letting that G drone through. So that's a pretty sort of classic, classic rock move that you probably um, hear that in loads of different songs. So that they are the main three chords for the verse and the introduction. So I'll go over the number of strums in a minute, but basically that is your G. And then here's your C, the stretch you on, fret two, fret five and then up to fret three there's your f okay and then what we're doing is go over the timing in a minute but we'll literally just count the number of strums for each one it's the easiest way to, to sort of get your head around the sequence so we've got three g's at the beginning now that space that muting, that's a pretty integral part of the whole sound of the verse. It's a real classic ACDC uh, sound where you get big loud distorted guitar and then absolute silence in between. So what you want to do is after you've strummed, you just want to come round. It's almost like a little karate chop. So you, you just rest your palm across all of the strings fairly close, but not necessarily on the bridge just flip that's an elbow move there so we've got three strums on the G mute 
I'm going to do two strums on this stretchy C and one on the F right next to each other. C, C, F. I'll mute after that F as well. And again, same again. C, C, F. I'll mute again. For the final time, C, C, F. And then just a single C. And then back to the G. Do two of them. So after each little cluster, each little group of chords, strums, we're doing that little muting trick. Hopefully that's not too bad. Um, even though it's a stretch, uh, these chords shouldn't be too bad because we can still be fairly flat with the fingers. We don't need to bridge right around there. So keep keep your thumb sort of relatively low, low down um, and it'll, it'll help. Now the timing is uh, we come in after beat three so as with most songs it's four beats in a bar but we come in on the off beat after beat three so it sounds like this one two three and four and one two three and four and one two three and four and one So there's a big gap in between the first three groups of strums and then it all gets a bit more compressed. So that's the intro and the verse. As soon as he starts singing, it's four times round that. So it's a couple of times for the actual intro, so just instrumental. And then he starts singing and it's four times round that. And then uh, at the end of the fourth time, you don't go back to G. You go to instead so that would sound like this and four and one two three and four and one two three and two so uh, you basically play that for two bars, I'll, I'll do that in a minute, but you, you go in from the very final single C on its own, normally you would go back to two Gs, but you don't do that. Here we go, this is the last one, up to D. And that's just one and two and three and four. That's half beat strums. So depending on how long you've been playing for, you know, you can just like plow through with your downstrokes. It's definitely downstrokes, but uh, if you've been, uh, if you've not been playing for so long, you know, just keep it simple. Uh, if you think you're doing okay and this is pretty easy for you, you could try working on a bit of palm muting. So that's when you rest on the strings as such dampen the sound, technical term chugging. So if you do that to start with, it's a build, so you might want to start muting and gradually come off it so it kind of builds the volume and the intensity slightly. So that would sound like this. Here's the last time. Here we go. Chuggy palm muting and come off three, four. Into the chorus, which is very similar chords. Keep it dead simple. There's the G. Going up to fret five. That's C. So this is barring. So I said again, you can you can follow that link from a couple of minutes ago uh, to check out Sunshine You Love if you want a bit more info on that but it's basically a question of putting the pressure on from here clamping through the neck and the strings so the pad of the thumb is squeezing onto kind of the side of the pad of the finger and then you get a good amount of purchase across all the strings can take a bit of practice might feel a bit funny in your wrist but <clears throat> that's what we're doing for the C and then after C, 
again I'll do the rhythm in a minute <clears throat> let's go for these shapes now again if you haven't been playing for very long let's keep it dead simple let's go for the F in exactly the same way as what you were doing in the intro so that's just fret 3 and fret 5 on the second, uh, the middle D and the high G, and then down to the C, just step backwards to fret two, and just one strum each there. So, we've got four open Gs, and then we're quickly into the C. So it's one, two, three, four, and, some more strums, I'll go for the rhythm in a minute, but then F, C, just one strum, one down strum for each of those at the end. So we got four Gs, so after the four Gs you hit the C, let it ring out, it just rings over the bar, I'll do the timing after this and you've got three more strums on C and then there's the F and the G so the timing is one two three four one two three four and and two and three four and the chorus is very repetitive again do that four times but on the fourth time you only hit the C once and let it ring out so I'll show you that so from the beginning on the beat so two three four one two three four and two and three four one two three four third time and two and three four last one let that ring out okay and then after that you're back to you're back to the verse again and after so dead repetitive there aren't really many more parts to this song there's there's obviously a solo which we're not covering because it's beginner level but there is a little bridge so you've got your intro you got your verse you got your chorus back to verse two back to chorus two and then there's a little uh, break a little bridge just before the solo and what we can do with this is ideally we'll play a C, C power chord, but we'll use fingers 2, 3, 4 at fret 5 on those strings, 2, 3, 4, all at fret 5, and then we're going to save finger 1, because it's going to come in and play at um, fret 3 of the middle string. You can strum that one once, you can strum that one once and then go back again so so basically at the end of I'll just show you that how, how it works coming out of the final uh, second chorus rather so last time around the second chorus Into the solo at that point and that uh, is also over the chorus chords so so if you if you're playing rhythm guitar we're doing the Malcolm Young part so that's just uh, basically what you did for the chorus so that is basically all you need to know except if you wanted to tune up and play or rather use a capo and play along with the original song we could try exactly that now 
I would recommend if you're going to use a capo on a, a six string, a three string, sorry, I would I would use a trigger action one, okay, because we've got slightly irregular, often quite like thick necks and stuff. So we want to go onto fret two. Now check this out. In tune. Not in tune. So this particular one has a very brutal grip on it so it's squeezing the life out of the strings here so what I might need to do is retune um, with the capo on okay so uh, you, you'd have to retune again when you take it off but I want these notes to be instead of G D G I want them to be A E A so I'm going to do that right now so that's close enough there's an A power chord Every single thing that you've just learned that I've just shown you now goes up two frets. So um, think of the capo as the open strings. So this is now fret two and this is fret five. This is now fret seven. So you've probably got dots. So um, what's normally dot four, this is now fret seven with the capo there. C. Okay. Um, now, have a listen to this. This is the song, and it is actually originally not quite at concert pitch. So I've just shoved this into a particular app on my phone. Okay, now I've just gone to the trouble of putting this in concert pitch, but ACDC forgot to tune their guitars to concert pitch. Uh, or actually what, what sometimes happens is uh, on earlier older songs uh, that the producers sometimes messed around with the speed of the tape machine to sort of change the sound. But basically this is an Android app. It's called Music Speed Changer Classic. And what I can do, I'm not sure if you can see that very well, I can change the pitch of this and I can be quite accurate. I can change it to um, not just going up by the equivalent of one fret or down one fret like a capo, but I can go in between the frets. So I check this out and I think they are the equivalent of half a fret lower than concert pitch. So if I type in 0 0.5 so this is android app music speed changer classic you can get a whole bunch of them for iphone as well you want to try to get one where you can you can change the pitch by um, a finer degree rather than just plus one or minus one because going by 0 0.5 it should make it sound about right So there's Angus. Okay. So the reason why I've showed you that is because it's a relatively easy song and I don't think it will take you too long to get used to it. So why not jam along with the boys themselves? and great fun quite easy structure as well you know i think you could probably get through that uh, after the solo there's another chorus double chorus and uh, watch out for the break and the <laughs> pick slide uh, but then basically it's just what you've learned all right so i hope that was fun uh, hopefully not too difficult to play either so have fun jamming along with the band and i'll see you here again very soon for some more gdg we're gonna we're gonna stay in this tuning just for the next handful of videos before moving on to something different so watch this space i'll see you here again very soon on coda guitar <laughs>